Hi, I'm David Dusek for Golf Week. The United States has won the 2016 Ryder Cup, and Patrick Reed has become the new face of the American Ryder Cup team. He won three and a half points while at Hazeltine National, including a huge win in the Sunday singles against Rory McIlroy. Reed made a pair of equipment changes in the days leading up to the Ryder Cup, one of them to show his patriotism, and another to help his game better match Hazeltine National. Reed had been using an Odyssey White Hot RX number no. two putter for the last several months, but right before the start of the Ryder Cup, he was presented with another club from the folks at Odyssey. It was the same type of putter, again, an Odyssey White Hot RX number no. two, but this one had American flags put on the bottom of it, along with some red, white, and blue um, personalization. He loved the putter, and immediately it went right into the bag, and obviously that thing was white hot for him as he made putts from all over the place at Hazeltine during the Ryder Cup. Patrick Reed has also been playing a blended set of irons all season, opting for Callaway MB1 muscleback blades in his 5-iron through pitching wedge for most of the season to get a little bit more feel and to get a little better accuracy on a lot of approach shots. When it comes to his 4-iron, he's been going with a Callaway X-Forged 4-iron, and that club has a little bit more perimeter weighting on it, which should make it a little more forgiving. It should help to get the ball up in the air a little bit more easily, too, with that long iron. Now, things get interesting when Patrick Reed gets down to his 3-iron. That's this bridge club between his irons and his fairway wood. And that's because sometimes, based on course conditions, Patrick Reed will go with a PXG 0311 3-iron, which comes standard with 18 degrees of loft. But at the Tour Championship at Eastlake, and again at the Ryder Cup, Patrick Reed went with one of these. This is a Callaway Apex Hybrid. Now, this club, for him, had 18 degrees of loft as well. So the difference, though, is that this club is going to have a wider sole, which is going to help him get through the rough. Callaway told me that Reed went with the hybrid specifically to help him handle the, the moderate to slight rough that he might experience at Hazeltine National. But it's also got a center of gravity that's going to be further away from the hitting surface, and it's going to have... Uh, the ability to hit the ball a little bit higher up into the air and bring it down a little more softly on a steeper angle of descent. So if you're attacking long par 4s or par 5s, a hybrid club is going to hit the ball higher and bring it down more straight up and down. That's going to stop it and give you a little better distance control. It would be really smart for amateur players at home to do the same thing Reed did and match up the equipment that you're going to be putting into your bag with the course that you're going to be playing and the shots that you're going to be needing to play there. When you do that, you're putting yourself in a much better position to be successful and shoot lower scores. I'm David Dusek for Golf Week.